Do you recognize any of these wildlife creatures? Hi, my name is Nova and this is my friend, Nabil. We're from Classic Goody School and we'll be a host for this documentary. We'll be featuring various wildlife creatures living in Sunai Bulu. Come follow us on our adventure. Do you know that the water monitor lizards are one of the most largest lizards in the world? The most common monitor lizard found in Singapore is the Malayan water monitor lizard. It can go up to 3 meters long. Monitor lizards are carnivorous in nature and feed on the dead, decaying flesh of animals. They can remain underwater for up to half an hour and they're just great swimmers too. Just look at that. Hey Nabin, Nabin, Nabin. Yeah? Do you see that? The monitor lizards are sticking their forked tongues in and out just like a snake. They easily just sense their prey as well. Oh no, let's run away! Nah, don't worry about it. They're not tasty enough. Anyways, monitor lizards are really shy in nature and only attack when provoked. If you ever encounter a monitor lizard, these are the precautionary measures to take. Number one, do not be alarmed. Number two, do not touch, chase or corner them as they may attack you in defence. In the event that you will be then seek medical attention immediately. Check that out! Is there another Malayan water monitor lizard? No, Abel, my friend. Yes. That is an estuarine crocodile. Oh. Many people get confused with uh, these two reptiles because of their similar features. The most easiest way to tell between a crocodile and a monitor lizard is just to look at its ridges on its tail and its back. These are absent on a monitor lizard. They are also known for being the saltwater crocodiles. These animals spend most of each day basking at the water's edge or hidden from the view among vegetation. They are known to swim freely among Johor Bahru and Singai Buloh. If you ever have an encounter with a crocodile, these are the precautionary measures to take. Number one, do not approach the crocodile. It's pretty simple. Number two, keep a safe distance away from it. Number three, do not linger at the water edge. And number four should be pretty straightforward. No feeding too because these crocodiles already have plenty of food in Singai Bolo, and I'm pretty sure you don't be part of it. This ancient looking creature is called the mangrove horseshoe crab. This small juvenile will grow up to about 15 centimeters in diameter. Strangely, it's not a crab, but a small closely related to spiders and scorpions. Horseshoe crabs can only eat when they walk. Their jaws are located in between their second pair of legs, and walking helps them grind up food. Wanna know something cool about them? What? Their blood is blue and can be sold out by pharmaceutical and biometrical industries. As there's a component in their blood that is so sensitive, it can be used to detect contamination inside devices used in the human body. These cute creatures right here are actually called the long-tailed macaques. And it's the most commonly seen species of monkeys in Singapore. And there are about 1,500 of them here. The cactus in Singapore has a smaller size, different facial features and a larger tail-body ratio than the others found in the neighbouring regions. Well, big, highly intelligent creatures, they use rocks to hunt their prey and in the northern regions of Sumatra, they have been observed catching fish with their bare hands. If you ever encounter the macaques, these are the precautionary measures to take. Number one, keep a respectful distance when you observe them in the wild. Number two, do not feed, provoke them or encourage them to approach you by displaying food items or plastic bags. If, three, if the monkey approaches you, stop whatever you're doing immediately. Number four, remain calm and quiet. Do not make any sudden movements and do, and do not maintain direct eye contact with the monkeys. Number five, do not hit the monkeys. Well, now I know. Wow. Wow. Seems like there are so many interesting facts about these wildlife creatures that I've yet to find out. The best way for you to know more is to get out there and get close to nature. But remember, not too close. See you next time!